736, time to focus on business. Our business editor, Mike Apple, joining us now. Mike, the price of oil is cooling off a little bit. Yeah, I saw a big price spike yesterday, Ted. It was up 6% in a single day, rising $3 per barrel, above 52 bucks for WTI crude, the theory being that U.S. refineries are producing gasoline at a near record pace. They're taking advantage of the fact they can buy a barrel of oil for a depressed price, and their profit margins are increased because of that. And the, also, the expectation is this summer we're going to see record-breaking driving activity in the U.S. as Americans specifically take advantage of the low price to fill up the gas tank. Now, this morning, down just a little bit, not by much though, losing about 75 cents per gallon back to $51.42 at last check in U.S. dollars. The Toronto stock market, meantime, on quite the roll over the past five days, our benchmark stock index has gained 2% and it's up again this morning. And one of the leaders is the Hudson's Bay Company. The Bay's in with earnings. $111 million in profit. That is almost triple what they made a year ago. They're going to roll out the Saks Fifth Avenue luxury uh, retail brand uh, further across the country over the next few years. Seven stores expected, one in Toronto starting in the spring of 2016. So that's some good news finally for the retail sector, which of course this year it's been inundated by a lot of bad news, specifically the closure of Target Canada and uh, Future Shop. Nordstrom also uh, is expanding in the Canadian market and uh, more stores expected there as well. So maybe the tide's turning a little bit more to the positive. Federal government announcing late yesterday it's on selling its remaining interest in General Motors. 73 million shares, raising about $3 billion. Those numbers, some of those will be put to the uh, federal uh, budget, which will be coming up on April 21st, helping balance the books. Fed's saying they're not really in the auto industry and shouldn't be so. So they're, uh, they're selling their stake and, and raising some money in the process. Of course, that was from the initial investment when they bailed out GM back in 2009. And also of note in the upcoming budget, the plan to expand the tax-free savings account from the current $5,500 limit per year up to $11,000. Who that benefits? Big question uh, going on uh, regarding the fact that uh, many Canadians can't even max out the $5,500 currently available, so some debate about that. And Samsung's earnings, interesting to see that uh, they saw their profitability drop 31% over the past year. Of course, they're up against Apple in that highly competitive uh, smartphone market and Samsung comes out with a new Galaxy smartphone this Friday. Ted, back to you. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Mike. That's business editor Welcome. Mike Apple reporting this morning. You can hear Mike on 660 News at 26 and 56 after the hour.